So let's take a look at Yarn Package Manager. Go to yarnpkg.com and here you'll find a web page similar to this. And if you want to install Yarn, you can click on this Install Yarn button. And here you will find that for Windows, they have one installer with specific version. You can use Release Candidate or Stable. I suggest going with the Stable. Okay, you can download the .msi file, or run it, and you'll be able to use Yarn from your command prompt. Okay, so let me open Hyper and within which I'm going to show you some of the commands. Okay, apart from this option, you can also use Chocolatey, where you can see Choco install Yarn is the command to install Yarn. For Scoop users, you can use Scoop install Yarn. Okay, and next thing is, we are going to take a look at some of the commands that you can use with Yarn. First command is, yarn double dash version and you will be able to make use of this command for checking the yarn version next thing is uh, let's say if i want to make use of a developer directory with package.json in such case i will just use yarn in it this will create package.json in that directory okay after you do that, next thing is to add package or install the package. Yarn has add keyword for installation. So yarn add and then package name. Okay, here your package name can be anything. Let's say express. Okay, and you can also use that to add dependencies locally. Okay, but if you want to go for global installation, you can simply use yarn, then space, then global, add, and then say express. Replace this with any other package name. Okay, uh, that should install your package name globally. Now let's take a look at one more command, which is yarn upgrade, and then your package name. Okay, this will upgrade the existing installed package by Yarn. Okay, so make sure that package is installed by Yarn in order to upgrade it. Okay, so after that, there is also one more command is to remove that package. So package name. Okay, so if you want to remove a particular package from Yarn, then you can use Yarn then remove and then package name. Okay, next is cleaning your dependency junk using yarn clean. Okay, so any dependencies junk that you have installed on your system can be cleaned with these simple command yarn clean. If you want to clean cache, you can use yarn clean cache. Okay, now there is one more thing. If you want to self update yarn then you can use self dash update however i have noticed some issues with this command so i prefer to manually uh, reinstall yarn on windows in case of mac and linux this may work or not depending on the available set of version okay but for now 1.6.0 i have found yarn self update not working properly with windows Okay, now next thing is we will take a look at yarn info and then package name. Let's see if I want to find out uh, express related info, then I can use yarn info express. Replace this with any other package name and you have info for that. Now, if you want to find out the yarn install path, you can check that with yarn bean. Okay, so let's check that. And it will show you where the modules are installed. Also, you can use yarn, y, and then package. Let's say express. Okay, so it will show you the details why this package has a particular set of dependencies or it is installed the package on its own.
Okay, so the model exists because it is specified in dependencies. Okay, these are some of the type of commands that you may have to use. So let's revise again. Uh, first thing that you may use with yarn is yarn add and then package name. In case of global installation, yarn global add package name. Okay. So this is for installation and then let's say remove package name. Okay, also for upgrade, you can use yarn and then upgrade and package name. Okay, finally, uh, you may notice that just like npm start, you can use yarn start for some of the packages that have web server component. Okay, so these are some of the commands that you can use with yarn package manager.